Daniel, go ahead, please. Thank you, Rabbi. Um, so I have a question regarding being based on Mikdash. Mm-hmm. Um, so I was reading the other day, um, Rikki Abos, and he says uh, that prayer can be more effective than sacrifices. Uh, in seeking forgiveness for the episode of Bathsheba, King David says, For you do not, you do not desire a sacrifice and a sin offering you do not want. And then he said, then um, David Amelis continues, says, uh, Know that I cannot bring the sacrifice uh, on my Lord Hashem. Open my lips that my mouth may declare your praise. This mm-hmm. is the, the mm-hmm. Hashem Sephatai Tiftahu Fi Yagite Letecha, what we say on, on Amida. Yeah, before. And then before, on, the same before, page, yeah. on the same page, uh, there's a small brief story, like a uh, like a re- uh, like a summary of uh, when Rab, uh, Rabbi Yochanan ben Zakkai and Rab, uh, Rabbi Yehoshua were in the in the ruins of the temple, and they were mourning over it. And um, Rabbi Yochanan ben Zakkai says to Rabbi Yehoshua, uh, "Do not be upset. Uh, we have means of achieving forgiveness, which is equal to the temple services, uh, meaning act of." Uh, acts of kindness, Gemilut mm-hmm. Hasidim. Uh, so, if prayer can be more effective than sacrifices, according to to what David Amel says, mm-hmm. and Rabbi Yohanan Bezakai says that um, acts of kindness are equal to the service of the temple. Why do we pray to Hashem that we that we uh, do the services again at the at the at the rebuild of the temple? If we mm-hmm. can do something that is equally uh, as equally as good as it. Okay, for, first of all, it's uh, it's okay. So let me let let me sum, summarize the the question. So the question is: It says that uh, our prayers are more effective than the, the, the sacrifice, and uh, several times Hashem uh, says in uh, in the Navi, He said, "I don't need you sacrifices; just, just do teshuvah." Right, so uh, prayer. When they say prayer, it means to show. When when David this uh, this uh, incident is Bathsheba, meaning that, that he was doing to show. So what what? How is it going to help the situation if he just gives tzedakah? If he just uh, did uh, ten sacrifice? How does it change the situation? If the person is the same person, whatever. I'm not talking that David came out like like in general. So some people like to uh, sin, give tzedakah, and think that it is forbidden. So this uh, is forgiven, right? So it's like uh, it's like he he paid off uh, for Hashem for his sins. So Hashem said, no, you, actually your prayer, your um, like heartfelt prayer that, that you, you feel sorry, you want to be close to Hashem, that's uh, better than sacrifice. You understand? So like, uh, like do something, not, not just say many things like for example uh i, I was uh, researching today about uh, tikkun haklali by the rabbi um what is it nachman mebrasla that's all right and uh, some people took it out of context this thing and they say like uh, yeah you 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 created many demons right mazikim with uh, with uh, with uh, wasting seed and what do you do you just uh, read this 10 Ten paragraphs of uh, of uh, tikkun, right? And and it should help uh, to kill these demons. Yeah, but uh, it's very good. But if you did not do teshuva, how is it going to to help you? How is it going to to stop you next time? It's not going to stop just because you're going to read some uh, some tikkun. It's going to to fix you as a person. No, you have to do like uh, you have to change yourself. You have to do teshuva and stop doing that. You understand? So Hashem said, I. I don't need your words. I I don't need your praises. I don't need your sacrifice. I need your actions. So that's uh, that's uh, that's why our tfila, our like uh, like heartfelt tfila, is uh, is higher than sacrifice. Sacrifice, it's okay. They, they kill the animal. Well, what is it to me? Okay, I feel sorry. I spent so much money, but uh, okay, now now the sin is over, right? So so can can I do it again? So that, that's the thing, and uh, these uh, people, unfortunately, on this website, so they took it out of context, and uh, it was a line that I was shocked. They say, uh, and when Mashiach comes, so listen to this, it's clear. He said, well, when Mashiach comes, so everybody would come to Uman, to you in Ukraine, Uman, and why? And they would uh, to, uh, stay in line to, to, to read the uh, Tikkun HaKlali. 
So it was like uh, all of these crazy people. Uh, well, uh, people want to like a sure, uh, like quick fix of their situation. They don't do not work, do not want to work on themselves. That but well, they want to say like to go to some place to uh, call it tzaddik and uh, by his grave same same something and let him uh, take care of my situation. How about you take care of your situation? You can do it better. You don't have to go anywhere. Just stay where you are, do the show, and uh, you're good. You understand? That's uh, that's how prayer is uh, higher than uh, the, the sacrifice. But for some sins, you obligate it by law. Uh, 613 commandments bring a sacrifice, so you, you cannot skip that. So and uh, they say when when you see this, uh, the shag this animal like in front of you, all of the blood is gushing. <laughs> you you ready to pass out? So you understand? Our sages uh, say you have to imagine. I have to be the that uh, that goat. I have to be that. Uh, this ox, I had to be this uh, this thing, right? But uh, instead of this, uh, instead of this, this animal was slaughtered. But next time, Hashem maybe not not so merciful with me. That's for sure, right? So maybe next time it's going to me. And we know many people don't live uh, as they as long as they expected. Okay. okay. Yes, thank you. We got it. So yes, it's kind of similar to when we. Uh, I don't know, it's in my Sidur, but there's this part that mentions that uh, 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 studying Torah is kind of equal to um, honoring your parents and uh, a few other things, mm -hmm. but that doesn't, mean that, that doesn't mean that one replaced the other. It's just like... Uh, no, no, one, sec one second, one second, one second. Uh, that's, that's a very, very interesting question. I, I want to expand on this. So it says that uh, when, uh, when a person is... Uh, is learning Torah, it's like all of the other mitzvahs combined. So the question is, uh, so it uh, when I learn Torah, it's uh, like so supersedes the others? Of course it's done, it does, right? So when, when you learn in Torah, and you not when you busy when, with one mitzvah, you're not obligated to do another mitzvah. So because it would be disgrace, like dump one mitzvah and do and do another. If you can do it at the same time and you're not going to lose. So it's one thing, but uh, if you're going to lose, so you're not obligated. You understand? So if we if we uh, we're learning, right, uh, Torah, and somebody comes, well, let's say we we're in the class, and somebody comes and say we need the tenth person for the meal, you're not allowed to go. Let them go. Of course, we, maybe somebody would go to sacrifice himself for for a piece. We we have enough animosity, right? So, but uh, halakhically, you're not uh, you're not allowed to go. Because you're busy with one mitzvah, so you're not obligated to do another mitzvah. You understand? So, okay. So go, go ahead, Sec second part of the question. Thank you. Um, no, no, no. Um, in regards to that question, I think uh, uh, Kodala responded, uh, yeah, seriously. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.